Hello, day 44 of the Lockdown Wildlife Diaries. And today I want to talk to you about what's causing the damage on this home oak tree. Pretty much all of the leaves on this home oak are damaged and the damage is being done by something called a home oak leaf mining moth. And they have their larva inside there and they grow. We've got a lot of home oaks in Thanet. They stand up to the salty sea air really well and we almost use them as shelter belts. And home oaks are great for wildlife. They live a really long time and they have a wonderful substantial trunk on them. And we get, it's a bit dark under this canopy. But at this time of year, all the canopy is getting really thin because evergreens shed their leaves around about this time of year in early spring. And there'll be lots of buds growing where there's new leaves growing. And I think home is an ancient word for holly because the, the the leaves on this oak tree are almost like holly leaves and there happens to be a holly tree right here. These are, these are the holly leaves and they look very similar to that of the home oak. And home oak grows lots of acorns and in the autumn lots of wildlife can feast on the acorns. However, we have a lot of grey squirrels in this area and they're able to feed on the acorns before they're ripe enough for our native wildlife to feed on them. So they can be a bit of a pest, beating all of our native wildlife to them. And we, we do well for home oaks in Thanet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a couple of the leaves off this tree. And this doesn't really seem to affect the trees. They do it. And look how much you can see through the canopy right now. I'm going to take a couple of the leaves home and I'm going to look through the microscope. Right, so I've come home with my leaves and I'm going to put them underneath, underneath my little microscope that I've got. And... You can see all the meandering lines in the leaves uh, and then they a bit lighter where they've hatched out. Here they are, you can see all the damage it's caused to the leaf. Now, the leaf mining moth has three generations a year. The larvae feed within the leaves during July, October. And from November to March, when fully fed, the larvae pupate within the leaf mines. And by late winter, much of the foliage of a home oak may be affected. The tiny moth has like brownish white wings. And when it emerges, it's about eight millimetres big. They're tiny little things. And you can see, you can see in the leaf where the meandering lines start small and get big, where the caterpillar's putting on, the, the moth larvae is putting on and getting bigger and then at the end you'll see a tear hole there's a little hole there on the screen now where they where, where it's hatched out it doesn't really seem to affect the whole moat very much literally all of the leaves on that tree have got them on it's incredible and then now we're we're early spring now come early summer all the leaves on that tree would have um, grown again so the so they were, all these poor ones would have been shed off and all the new leaves would be growing and then the cycle starts again it's really interesting stuff especially to get it under a microscope and really see everything sometimes you'll find the, the larvae in there i mean this time of year you might find some dead larvae in there but it happens so that's what's in these oak leaves and the oak leaves are very tolerant of it. Sometimes you'll get the leaves like this where they're really damaged on the outside edges and it looks like the sea air, like my rhododendron over there. The edges of the leaves go very brown and that's the salt air we have here in Thanet. It does have an effect on a lot of plants. But the whole oak is very tolerant to salt air, which is why we find it along our coast so much. So most of this damage is, is through the uh, leaf miner moth. So that's what it is. Thanks for watching. Cheers.